Sun in uh, CSC Turek. And the third game is going to be on Cloud Kingdom LE. Yeah, pretty cool map here. I uh, really like Cloud Kingdom. And I don't play either Terran or Zerg. And I can't say I've watched enough Mech versus Zerg to tell you whether or not this is a good map for Mech. But just looking at it and trying to picture how this might go down, uh, I definitely feel like this might be an okay map for Turk here again. Yeah, I, I think Cloud Kingdom is definitely a good uh, map uh, for mech builds, but before we go any further, spawning in the top right position as our Blue Terran, he's he's gone for a, a very a very turtley style of mech. Uh, not so much harassed, a little bit more though last game. Uh, he is Turek. And spawning in the bottom left position as the Red Zerg really hasn't been able to, to figure out Turek. Uh, he, he's dropped the last two games. Let's we'll see if he can bring it back on Cloud Kingdom. He is Quantic Gaming's Hyun. And uh, I'm a bit surprised by the turnout here. Turk is in the lead with 2 to 0 right now. In my opinion, if this was Wings of Liberty, I would have said 5 0 Hyun, but it just feels like in Heart of the Swarm, he's struggling a lot right now. Um, I really don't see how he could figure out exactly what to do here. He seems to lack knowledge about the game. He he has to think hard about what to do. I mean, in the previous game, he had a shot. There were some very close fights, but overall, he was never in control like you usually see Hyun be you know, in most of his game and series. He's such a scary player in Wings of Liberty, and uh, it, it does not feel like he's able to reproduce that in Harder Swarm right now so far. Yeah, I have to say I'm I'm personally really surprised. Hyun is uh, known as a very very strong Zerg player, uh, GSL level competitor. So I'm I'm really shocked that he he's been getting uh, losing so convincingly really in these games. I'm expecting a little bit more back and forth, um, not so much uh, these these big pushes. You know, these these his mech timing pushes coming out of Turek have all hit perfectly timed uh, for what Hyun's been doing. He went for the super fast hive in game two. He got hit right before that hive completed anyway. Uh, and in the first game, he went for that super heavy roach count and he still got hit before the hive. So really great uh, decision making by Turek. And it looks like he's going to go for that one racks uh, expand again. Do you think Hyun's going to mix it up at all in game number three? Um, <laughs> I wish he would, but I feel like he would not, sadly. Uh, maybe I should tell him between the games. Be aggressive, man. Come on, show show me some aggression. But uh, by the way, I should mention this is a sc2tv.ru show match. Uh, they are the sponsor for this show match series. This is the third show match. In the first, in the first two show match, uh, Dimaga was able to win. Uh, in, in the last one, he won against Turek, but uh, he chose not to continue with these show matches. He was probably busy with something else. So Turek is going to continue instead, and he's taking on Hyun this week. Uh, most likely next week there will be another one uh, playing against the winner of today and RSL is starting soon as well which is organized by these people who make this show match guys check it out great tournaments great show match series yeah, to say we have some really strong players here giving us some good games. Hopefully, uh, Hyun can uh, figure out Turek. He, he's really been struggling a lot. Uh, the Roach play, I want to see some drops, honestly, because with the low Thor count, uh, your tanks have to be siege really to deal with a kind of crazy mobile uh, style of this, especially since he's been opening Widow Mines. So it's not so, not the strongest anti Roach opener if he goes for drops to bypass that. Um, maybe even really early Burrow, but here we're going to have double gas being taken a lot earlier than a previous games for Hyun at his natural expansion. You think he's going to go for fast lair or possibly some sort of Roach sling uh, Bane timing? Oh yeah, this seems like early gas. Uh, I think it's a bit too late to be Roaches, to be honest. So I think this might just be quick lair um, into some kind of lair tech build. Maybe some Swarm Host, maybe some Roach with speed. Um, when Dimaga played against Turek, he went for Roach with quick speed and then he always got um, Burrow tunneling class and he tried to do as much damage as he could or at least take complete map control, delay the third of Turek and uh, just do some damage in general, just get something done, get the initiative, not just take a third and start droning. And uh, if Yon was to do that, he could just win against Turek because Dimaga, he won the previous show match against Turek. It was 5-4, to four, but he did win. So I feel that Dimaga's style is definitely better against Turek than what Hyun's been doing so far. 
Yeah, you know, the, the turtling options for Terran have only improved. Uh, we saw the Widow Mines used to great effect to hold off the early aggression in the last game, uh, both both games actually. And uh, Tyrik, you know, he's been using that barracks a lot to, to shut down uh, Overlord scouting outside the front of the natural. And this is this is giving him a lot of opportunity. He's actually shown a slightly different look. He's going to be opening uh, with these with these Hellions a little bit faster than before. He did get the medevac once again. Possibly going to try to drop these Hellions in. He has an armory actually about to complete, so this could be a two-base Hellbat drop. And I, I feel like uh, there's not really anything here to defend this since the Roachworn is so late from Hyun. Oh, and Turek is actually going to show the Hellions. Oh no, he stops just before meeting the Queen. And he's going to use the Medivac boost to get in as soon as possible and start dropping those Hellbats. Their only weakness is their speed. But if you add a Medivac with them, Speed is not really an issue anymore and they can do a lot of damage, so Hyun is going to have to react very quickly here and not clump his drones. This could be really, really scary. The Queen is in the middle of the mineral line as well, so there won't be anything to draw the Hellbats out. Um, the lair is complete, but here we go. He's going to be dropping those uh, those Hellbats. A ton of drones already going down. Uh, mining stops at the main base. The Hellbats will be able to kill this Queen off. He's trying to focus down the medevac to prevent him from microing with it. Uh, Turek wants to uh, he can kind of decide if he wants to try to get these Queens run down, maybe get drones. And he looks like he's going to lose these Hellbats, but he he's only actually killed about five drones, so not the worst possible scenario uh, for Hyun, but of course he lost mining time at the main base. But we do have uh, Roach Speed on the way. I do not believe Burrow is on yet, so uh, we could possibly see some of that uh, Roach drop play really early on. We have Roach speed already. No Roach um, drop upgrade, though. So uh, if Hyun wants to go for this kind of crazy aggressive play, he's going to need to get that upgrade really soon. His Overlord is going to go and scout. He's OK. Third command center on the way. You have three factories, a starport. This is the same exact look you've been throwing me every game. Uh, the only difference, of course, being that little bit of a hell bad drop. And here we have the Roach, uh, the Overlord drop starting now. And I think this is a good decision by Hyun. Yeah, th I definitely agree. Uh, he went for the quick Overlord speed to be able to scout exactly what uh, Turek was doing. He flew in, he saw the third commander, he saw the two factories. He knew he'd smack again and he has a timing where he can do a lot of damage. He immediately started Ventral Sacks. And uh, this is what I've been waiting for. I really think that... Hyun is going to have a great chance to win this uh, if he handles it well. He's saturating his third now, he's going to be able to pump out a lot of roaches, and as soon as he has ventral sacks, he can just start dropping all over the place and keep on doing damage. Yeah, I, I like this decision a lot from Hyun. He really needed to get a lot more aggressive because the same third game in a row we've seen Turek do almost the exact same thing, except Turek get, getting a little bit more aggressive. We saw a little more Hellion run-bys, we saw Hellbat run-bys in the last game. Uh, in the first game, all we had was the Widow Mine drop, but I think he's kind of realized, okay, this isn't going to kill Hyun. But here we have another Medivac with Hellbats in it, heading around. It's going to pass by that fourth base. Hyun's hatchery will spot it. The roaches are on the way, but he could always just zoom on in and go for the main. Instead, this a um, little bit of an interesting play, but Roach, uh, the drop for Overlord upgrade is almost complete, so we're going to have to see if Hyun wants to really commit to this, if he's going to make a lot more roaches, there are five on the way right now, and that 2-2 two, two upgrades are actually going in for the range as well. And yeah, I really like that. Hyun, he's going to make a lot of roaches, he's going to try to do some damage, but he's taking a force as well. Uh, right now, he's making a bunch of extra drones, and I think he has the perfect drone amount right now, about 70. Um, from now, if he only makes units and keeps on dropping roaches, he should be able to keep on doing damage to Turk and uh, he might be able to take the game like that but I'm starting to doubt whether or not he wants to oh uh, never mind he's making seven overlords but he's still making drones he feels I, very hesitant I think I think he's trying to go halfway with this you know he doesn't want to fully commit to this he doesn't want to you know he doesn't want to make it terribly weak but he doesn't want to fully commit and I think that could end up uh, costing him a lot of power in his push but uh, the tank line is is spread out almost kind of well. There's no missile turrets to defend these. He has two vi two three Vikings here, uh, kind of perched around looking for any kind of play like this. So Hyun's gonna need to he's gonna need to blindside him with this. I think a drop into the natural could work. There's no missile turrets here. Uh, the tanks are all in the outside bases, and uh, well, we're gonna have to see exactly what he wants to do. We have five factories now for Turek. Uh, no real more harass going in for him. As I say that, a medevac is moving over towards the natural, dropping hellbats. Uh, but there are roaches here to catch these, and he's not going to kill any drones. The queen almost bringing that medevac down to red health. So nice defense by Hyun. Uh, he's looking a lot sharper than he has been the past couple games. And I feel like Hyun, he was thinking about dropping here and 
doing some damage, committing a bit to his roaches, but I feel like what's holding him back, he's just one medivac with four herbats dropping in his mineral line while, while he's moved out. So that's why he's been delaying his attack so much. But now he's maxed, he's maxed before the 14th minute, and he's gonna bring all of his overlords in the drop, and the party is going to get started here. Two, he was waiting for 2-2 two, two upgrades actually. 2-2 two, two just finishing now, Carapace just finishing. Um, those, those upgraded units are going to be able to do a lot of damage against Turex army, even if he drops in the middle. Oh, there's actually only a couple tanks isolated in the third base here. Yeah, this is a really, really big drop. This is going. This is a full commitment here from Hyun. He needs to do a lot of damage with this. For getting the drops, he's not actually getting on top of the tanks. Now the Overlord is moving a little bit closer. He's getting the, the, the distance closed that he needs to, but the Roaches are not all able to attack. Some of them still waddling around in the back. He's going to run up. These Hellbats doing a magnificent job of helping to hold this defense. Um, but we have Turek dropping under 100 supply. The Vikings trying to sh shove the Overlords away. But these Roaches have done a lot of damage, have significantly decreased this tank count. There are only three tanks on the field. Still 24 roaches available for Hyun. He's going to push into the natural expansion. We have one of the defending tanks being taken out. These roaches are so close. The tanks can't fire. And it uh, looks like all of Turek's tanks are going to get taken out as he starts to lose a lot of SCVs at the third base. Very nice play by Hyun. Yeah, and Turek, uh, he was completely overwhelmed here. His units were a bit out of position, so he did not get the great engagement he wanted. He did not have enough mines to defend against this. And um, I mean, he's down to 60 supply behind this Hyun. He's just he keeps on remaxing, he's on four hatches, I would have really liked to see a macro hatch, but it's still okay. And he's just gonna keep on pumping out roaches, even getting burrow movements now. Tunneling Klaus to help with his roaches. Turk, he's going to fall in the star game. Yeah, I, I think I think Hyun's kind of realized, okay, maybe this is what I need to do to win this game. Uh, I, I really like the decision making, you know, he, especially going for the 2-2 timing. He hit way before Tyrek's 2-2, and there's the GG from Tyrek. Hyun takes game three, bringing the score uh, a little bit closer, 2-1 now. Yep, very well played. Um, I think we're just going to have a short break, and then we'll be right back with the next games, guys. The score is 2-1 for Tyrek. This is a best of nine. We still have a couple of games coming. Stay right here.